Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon if you like our YouTube channel. Now today, I'm gonna to be doing Blu-rays. It's now November, and of course, there's quite a few Blu-rays coming out. I'm gonna be doing a circle hook trace. What we require to make the trace for our blue rays is, and I'll start here, FC 100 and it's the 50 pound. The reason we use it, it stays nice and straight. Um, summertime we have big C's and with the big C's come our blue rays. So something that's going to stay straight and on the bottom is what we require. Very, very important this, fluorocarbon FC 100, 50 pound. Okay. Obviously for our sinker, sinker clip, because we're going to be using our saltwater sports dangles. And it's the small dangle for throwing long distance. Um, our tuna circle, 5 -0. You can go 6 if you want, but remember, Blu-rays have very small mouths. And we're going to be using our number 5 solid ring with that. I'm going to show you how we're going to put that together. A number three and number four power swivel and again circle hook sliding trace and our knot protector we're going to be using our kingfisher soft luminous beads okay there we go and the reason we use a solid ring on a circle hook it just gives it more movement and allows the hook to turn especially when using fluorocarbon because fluorocarbon is so stiff a lot of times it actually pops the hook out before you actually go tight. So we put a solid ring on it, it does exactly the same as snelling. It actually creates more movement so you've got more turn and more uh, chance of actually setting the hook. Now what we do is take our uh, side cutters and where the eye is, we just ever so lightly open it. See if the solid ring will fit in there now. I might need to open it a little bit more, yeah, just ever so slightly. There we go, that should have opened it enough. Okay, just either grab another hook or pull quite hard on it, so you can see it's actually open there. And now all we do is we either put it into a vise and close the eye, or we use a pair of pliers. I'm just going to use my trusty vice that's here, it's quick, it's easy. So there we go, there's our hook with a solid ring, all the movement that we require. Okay, our FC 100 fluorocarbon. For the hook snoot, we're going to give about 40 centimeters of fluorocarbon. And it's as simple as tying a figure of eight. So here we go, one, two, three times, push down and through, there we go, there's the figure of eight, a little bit of lubrication, and you slide the knot down, there we go, pull tight, cut off the tag end. Okay, so there we go guys, like I said to you, that solid ring gives a lot more movement so it allows the hook to set better in the fish's mouth. Okay, that's why we use that solid ring. <coughs> Grab our number four power swivel. And a number three power swivel. There we go, there's the number four. There's the number three. Okay, so what we do is, the bigger one, the number three, we tie a figure of eight onto it. Yeah, we go one, two, three, back through. There we go. Slide down, pull tight. Now just to make sure that the knots are tight, what we do, we just put the swivel in there. Like that. And there's both knots and we give it a a good pull so you'll see now it's pulled completely tight and that's sitting properly where it's supposed to it's seated nicely cut it off nice and close 
and straight away you can see the line sits straight. There we go, first bit done. The second bit, we're going to take about a meter of fluorocarbon. And we're going to tie it onto the other part of the swivel. One, two, three times, tying the figure of eight. There we go, pull tight. We're then going to take our size four power swivel. No, we're first going to take a bead. Come, 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 come. There we go. These are soft, luminous beads. What it does is it actually protects the, the knot from the swivel hitting against it when you're fighting a fish. I take that, we're going to stick on our size 4 power swivel. That one will go down. We grab another size 3. And that'll be the top one. And again, just a figure of 8. 1, 2, 3. Back down, figure of 8 tied. Slide it down. Pull it tight. Okay, so there is the completed trace without the sinker on it. Slow down, slow down, slow down, stop. So now what that swivel does is give all the movement that you need so that the Blu-ray can feed, pulls you down, thank you very much, hold on tight, the hook will turn. It gives the fish enough time basically, that's what that meter of uh, nylon actually does. Okay, so there's that part of the trace done. I'm just going to use, you can use any nylon for the sinker, preferably about the same breaking strain. Tie that onto our swivel. Over there. And go one, two, three times around. Slide down. Pull tight, cut off tag end. Measure the distance we want it to be, that's about right there. Cut that off. Grab one of our sinker clips. Fantastic. And the reason we use the sinker clip, firstly obviously for the dangle, Second of all, we can change the sinker. If the sea is very rough, we can put a grapnel. If it's a lot calmer, we can put a cone sinker on or even a teardrop sometimes. There we go, cut this off. Take our cone sinker and just stick it through and on. There we go, okay, so there's our sinker done. Okay, so there's our sinker all ready to go. Next is to get our dangle. Just open them up quickly. These saltwater dangles are available at most leading tackle stores nationwide, so very easy to get your hands on them. And again, one side will have silic uh, silicon tubing on, the other side will be open. So the silicon tubing is going to go through there like that. That's then going to clip on, once obviously you've got your bait on, let's just quickly do it, that's going to go on there. Okay, so nice aerodynamic bait on that, you can throw it a long way, and that's pretty much the trace that we use for catching Blu-rays with a circle hook. Okay guys, it's as simple as that. Okay, the next one I'm going to do for you, is the J-hook version of it. What we require, a sinker, a little uh, sinker clip, FC100 guys, very important. It's very, very strong, very abrasive resistant. It stays flat on the bottom and it stays straight. Blu-rays like that very rough water. Um, they sit in those little indents. Very, very important that you have your FC 100, and that's 50 pound. Ato Sui, 
We're going to use our ringed chinu 3O and of course our three-way power swivel. That's a 4x5, 3x5, it's up to you. Okay, to make the trace, let's start off with our 40 centimeters of FC 100. So, 40 centimeters of fluorocarbon, 803. There we go. We're going to be tying a figure of eight. Don't forget, if you want to see it more clearly, click on the link for the description. Okay, so simple as this. There we go. Figure of eight. There we go. Figure of eight. Slide down. Pull tight. Cut off the tag end. Okay, so there we go. We then take our 3O chinu. This is my little scallum hook that I use. And you'd be surprised how many fish you actually catch on that one there. Blue rays have got a very small mouth, so you don't need to go too, too big or too heavy on the tackle that you use. They're pretty much clean fighters. You get them on open beaches, um, around scattered rocks as well. So we take our 4x5 power swivel and remember when doing it, the big R goes up the line, the small R in a straight line is for the hook and then of course that would be the one that comes out at the right angle is going to be for your sinker. Now we go one, two, three times, there we go, figure of eight. And just to make sure that I'm not as tight, we just put that like that and we pull and it just seats the, the knot a lot better. And we can cut it off nice and close. <clears throat> and it also just straightens out the whole tray. So there is our hook snoot done. Obviously, that will go onto your leader going up your line. Let's just grab a, another sinker. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Grab a, another piece of nylon for our sinker snooting. <coughs> there we go through. Again, just tie a figure of eight. It's quick, it's easy. And slide down, pull tight. Measure the distance, that's more than enough. Tie our sinker clip on. There we go. One, two, three times. It just makes it so much easier using these sinker clips to change sinkers, different weights, different types of sinkers, depending on the conditions that you're actually fishing. <clears throat> Every now and again you might just have to open the sinker clip up a little bit just to release a little bit better. There we go. And we'll just put it on here and just double check myself. There we go. And that obviously is now going to go to your leader. But that's it clipped ready to throw. There's our trace guys for a Blu-ray using the J-hooks.